Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. In this video, I'm going to talk about Internet Explorer 8 add-ons, that being accelerators and web slices. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is tell you what is the difference between a web slice and an accelerator. A lot of people have heard about it, but they don't necessarily know what they do. We'll talk about web slices first. They appear in your favorites bar up here. If you don't see your favorites bar, you can tap Alt on your keyboard and click View, Toolbars, and then Favorites bar. Make sure it's checked. If it's not, it looks like this. So we enable it. Web slices are essentially little miniature web pages of sorts. I have one for my Facebook account here. If I click on it, it actually shows my uh, status update of myself and the friends I have on my list. And if I click through, it would go to the Facebook website. If I go to ieaddons.com, this is where the vast majority of add-ons for Internet Explorer 8 are. And I scroll to the bottom of the website and I see Web Slices. Click on it. And I'll just pick a random one here. Digs Main Page Top 10. Add to Internet Explorer. It's going to ask me to add a Web Slice to the Favorites bar. Sure. And then it shows it right here. If I click on it, like I said, it's a little miniature web page. And if I click on one of these links, it goes through to the dig site. And in a nutshell, that's how web slices work. If I don't like it, I can right click it and delete it. Simple. Now, accelerators, on the other hand, are handled either by a right click or by highlighting a piece of text and then using a menu pop up from a small blue arrow. The first thing that you should do is actually check to see if you have NT, excuse me, any accelerators installed. So we can do this by clicking Tools and then Manage Add-ons. If you don't have this Tools menu here, you can tap your Alt key and click Tools and then Manage Add-ons this way. And then go to Accelerators. And all your accelerators are here. Now I went ahead and installed a bunch of them just so I could show how this exactly works. If I, uh, let's go to PCMech.com, I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. Now, uh, what I will do is I will right click without highlighting anything on this page. And one of my features is translate with Bing. And what I want to do is I want to translate this page from one language to another. Um, I will use English to Spanish and then click translate this page. And you can see at the top left here, the little translating progress bar, and it's almost done. There it is, 100%. So I have English on the left and Spanish on the right. And when I hover over a portion, it will show the portion that's been translated on the other side. And the great thing is if I click through to a link, it will translate wherever you go. Scroll down here so you can see it. And there it is. So everything's translated there. And that was all done via an accelerator. That's just one example. Here's a more simple example. Let's just say I want to take a link and I want to share it out. I can right click the link, go to all accelerators, and just share on Facebook. Or I can make a tiny URL. If I click shrink URL and allow access, there's the tiny URL right there. And then what I can do is take this tiny URL, highlight it, click the arrow, all accelerators, and uh, actually let me scroll down so you can see that better. Highlight, click, and share on Facebook, or post on Twitter. Or I could define it if I wanted to. So, And when you do the uh, define with Bing, it will actually take the... Uh, I mean, there's nothing to define here, so I'd actually have to get a word that is definable so uh, I'll take the word document and all accelerators define with Bing and it's actually I can't really see it but it's actually on the right side there that is accelerators in a nutshell and to manage your accelerators you can do it one of two ways you can either go to tools 
and manage add-ons, accelerators, do it that way, or easier, just right click anywhere, all accelerators, manage accelerators, and it goes, it's easier to get to that way. In addition, if you right click, go to all accelerators and find more accelerators, it actually directly goes to ieaddons.com so you don't have to remember it or bookmark it or anything like that. That in a nutshell is accelerators and web slices. If you haven't used them, you should try them out. To the best of my knowledge, they are all free. So it might make the browser a little easier, a little better for you to use if you happen to use IE8. Take it easy.